Southeast Iowa Today with John Bain is brought to you by these great sponsors. Car Doctor of Washington, Iowa. No matter who Frankensteined it, they can fix and clean and customize it. Griner Auto Body of Washington, Iowa, using state-of-the-art techniques and decades of experience to get your car back on the road after an accident. Wayland State Bank, over 90 years of being community-minded, just like you, located in Wayland, Winfield and Mount Pleasant. McDonald Boneyard of Kyoto for all of your farm machinery and auto recycling needs. Hinshaw Trailer Sales of Richland, Iowa. They've got any kind of trailer you need and they fix what they sell and don't in their full-time repair shop. Girling Repair of Winfield, Iowa. If your mower is dead, call Fred, your Husqvarna and Aaron's dealer. B&B Propane and the family of jet stops located in Burlington, Salem Stub, New London, West Point, Denmark, Hupton, Bonaparte, Milton, Fairfield, and Birmingham present Southeast Iowa Today. I'm John Bain, author of Christie's Journey, The Beat Goes On, and your host. On today's episode, I take you to Kyoto, Iowa for the soft opening of their new aquatic center. And Jacqueline J. Singmaster Murphy will be the namesake on this new swimming pool. And we want to make sure we show everybody's names that have been donors for this project here in Kyoto, Iowa. The day is here! What a neat pool the city of Kyoto now has. This is going to be a fun place for the little ones to cool off on a hot summer day right here in Kyoto. They even have a little zip line. Alicia, welcome to Southeast Iowa today. Hi, nice to be here. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. It's great for me to be here. And here is the uh, new pool yes, in Kyoto, Iowa. We are super excited. This has been four years in the making um, to get all the funding. Uh, we have a group of residents that are called the Pool Advocates that did fundraising, wrote grants, worked with our, our city team and our councilmen to uh, to get all the funding for this. So we're well, the advocating excited. definitely paid off. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, today is September 10th, 2023. And I know you folks had the goal of being ready by the sesquicentennial. You had a few hurdles they had to overcome. So June was a little too soon, yes. <laughs> but you're still in 2023. And there's a lot of kids and adults out here today on this Sunday afternoon, really enjoying the new pool. There is. I, I think we're close to 60 people so far, and we just opened the doors, what, 20 minutes ago? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And you call this a soft launch? Soft opening. So, soft opening. Yep. Yeah. So we wanted to get, um, kind of get everyone in to try everything out. We want to see what needs to be adjusted, where we're at. We, we feel confident in everything being um, 
to the point of being able to be open, but we want to try it out and see. So we have our inspector coming next week um, to do the final inspection. Okay. This will give us a good chance to to work everything out and then make some adjustments and be ready for him. Um, you know, it's late enough in the year. I don't know if we'll actually do a full opening, but we'll at least know that we've got everything ready and that we're ready to go for next Well, time. it's kind of cool for everybody in Kyoto because everybody else is, like, draining their pools right it now. Is, yes. <laughs> you got a full pool. <laughs> it's perfect opportunity. And there's still a lot of hot days. There is still. Yeah. And, and if we have the opportunity, we'd like to have it open, even if it's just on weekends or even if it's, even if it's just our splash pad for our kids. So. That is awesome. And I saw you've got quite a team of lifeguards. We do. We had 10 people, 10 lifeguards, and six concession stand workers hired whenever we thought we were going to be open earlier. Um, and they're all here today. There's, yep, yep. There's eight of our lifeguards are here today. We had okay. our pool manager we had hired is in college. She oh. had to go back to school, of course. Yeah. So, but we have um, um, eight, of, eight of our lifeguards here. I have one of my concession stand workers. Um, we have more that are going to come swim because we're not technically open for concession stand. Gotcha. We're just giving away some water and some of the, the big jumbo popsicles. So, so yeah, cool. we've, we've gotten quite a yeah, you do. And it, I mean, it's just quite a day. And it's really, I'm sure that there's just a lot of pride that I could tell beaming from you. I could yeah. tell from <laughs> Nick. I talked to Nick a little earlier. Pride was beaming from him and just the other citizens here that are just so happy. We have several of our advocates here as well. Um, several of our advocate team, they have the bright colored shirts on and some of them don't have them on. But just out here either with nieces, nephews, grandkids, or some of them just here to see yeah. what all the hard work that they did get enjoyed. So um, it's, it's great to have that. I mean, Kyoto is such a giving community and such a, a tight community. It's great to see everybody coming together. So. Well, it sure, it sure shows today. And um, you had a swimming pool before yes. over by the golf course. Mm -hmm. And that one just kind of got to the point with age and things and it was hard to keep it up. Yeah, I, it was it was a full poured concrete. Um, and I think that they just got to a point where they could not stop the leaking. And it was it was really causing more damage than good. And so in 2015, I believe, uh, they made the final decision to shut down for the following season. Okay. And it hasn't been open since. So um, it might be 16, I'm trying to think, 2015, 16 in there. But so, that's whenever our advocates kind of got together um, in 2018 and said, we really need to bring the pie for Kyoto. I mean, we still have our, our full K through 12 school system. We still have, you know, our library. We have so many amenities here. And this area, we'd like to make a big recreation park area. Well, amenities is such an important word for a community because when people are looking for places to live, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are leaving the bigger cities and going to smaller towns, and uh, something like a pool and a, a golf course, baseball diamond, those types of things might get future uh, you know, residents interested in yes. Kyoto. And we've got people that have inquired about being able to build here. And so our, our next goal is to get the land for and to get that opened up because I know we, we can grow. We just have to make it happen. So. Well, there's, the proof is in the pudding, folks, and it's right here at the swimming pool. And uh, it shows that Kyoto is a thriving community. Yes, I would definitely say thriving. And we are very much in a rehabilitation to getting us back, back up to where we would like to be. And 150 <laughs> years old. And 150, that's right. I, I made our sign out on City Hall, 150 years and still going strong. And we are. And sure. you are. That is amazing. <laughs> now, um, is there anything I should have asked about this? that I didn't because I'm not smart enough to know that you want to share with the Southeast Iowa Today listeners I, and viewers. I'm really excited. I, I feel that we have things that maybe some of the other polls don't have. So next summer, when everyone's looking for a place to go and they, they think of Kyoto, we have a zip line, which is something that not most places have. Right. One of the one of the items that's not here yet that the, uh, that the vendor is still working on is a, a rock climbing, an aqua climb. So it's a rock climbing wall that will kind of lean towards the pool. Oh. They can climb up and fall back into the pool as well. How cool is that? So just a few things that are different from all the other pools. And, yeah. And hopefully gives kids a chance to go from town to town and find fun new things. Now, uh, speaking of kids coming from town to town, is it true that swim lessons will be offered here? 
we, we want to open those up next year. We, we're not going to this year because all of our lifeguards are brand new. Okay. And we wanted to give them a chance to get some exposure. Um, some of them did go over and work with some of the Washington lifeguards and some of the Sydney lifeguards to get some of that exposure while we were still going. Gotcha. So we would like to have that opportunity to have uh, swim lessons next year. We also have a resident that's going to do water aerobics. Um, so we'll, there'll be a lot of a lot of things like that. Um, well, that'd be swim. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So when we get into springtime, early summer of 2024, what's the best place for people to keep track of what's going on here so they can get involved? I will have everything on our, our uh, City of Kyoto webpage okay. and our City of Kyoto Facebook page. So I've been posting pictures, updates, kind of how I got the soft opening out there today was through Facebook because we want... I found it. <laughs> yeah, we want people here, but I, you know, I didn't want to, didn't want to make it too big because we just don't know what to expect. Right. But, but yeah, those, those two places will absolutely have all the information. All right. Well, Alicia, I appreciate our time today and thanks for all the information. I'm going to wrap this up so you can go swim. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I think you would agree with me, Kyoto has got a gem there with their new aquatic center and congratulations to them. And thank you to the sponsors of Southeast Iowa today. Car Doctor, Griner Auto Body, Wayland State Bank, McDonald Boneyard, Hinshaw Trailer Sales, Girling Repair, B&B Propane, and the family of Jet Stops. I'm your host, John Bain. Stay friendly, Southeast Iowa. Get a copy of Christie's Journey, The Beat Goes On.